So what is relative energy deficiency? Relative energy deficiency in sport is a term that was coined in 2014 by the International Olympic Committee. And it basically describes a syndrome of things that people experience when they're not intaking enough energy to match their expenditure of calories. Initially, we used the term female athlete triad, and that referred to menstrual dysfunction, bone density problems, and lack of energy intake. However, relative energy deficiency in sport can also affect males, and it affects a much wider range than those three things that I just talked about. So it can affect our immune system, making us more prone to infection, it can affect our metabolic system, our musculoskeletal system, making us more prone to injury. It can also affect growth and development in adolescence. So it doesn't just relate to menstrual dysfunction, bone density problems, and lack of energy, but it has a much broader effect on our own health. Not only does it affect our health, it also affects our performance as an athlete. And sometimes that's the first sign or symptom that people experience. There are professional athletes such as Jake Riley who have spoken about this, where they just felt like they weren't performing to their best. They tried to do hard workouts or run in races and they just couldn't quite get their performance to where it needed to be. And it actually turns out that this was his first time that he experienced relative energy deficiency in sport. So if you think that you're experiencing relative energy deficiency in sport, you should see your doctor. There are other things that can present similarly to relative energy deficiency in sport, such as vitamin deficiencies with iron deficiency, vitamin D deficiency. You could have a thyroid issue, a heart arrhythmia, and other things. So it's important to actually see your physician to determine exactly what's going on. If you are diagnosed with relative energy deficiency in sport, it's important to increase the amount of energy that you're taking in to match what you're expending. So I often have athletes come to me and say, I eat as many calories as my friends do. We go out, you know, I'm eating exactly what they're eating. And then when we take a step back, that particular athlete is running 20 to 30 miles a week more than their friends, meaning they need to take in more intake, more energy to cover up for and to match what they otherwise um, would be expending.